Our cover story is a GMA investigation into sunscreen as so much of the country experiences record heat. Some of those bottles on the shelves may be expired. Eva Pilgrim is here with what you need to know about it. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. These crazy high temperatures making putting on that sunscreen all the more important. And there's a critical number that you should be looking at to make sure you're protected. In the sea of sunscreen options, there are a range of SPFs, but there is another important number you should be looking for. It's very important to check the expiration date when you're buying it. It's not something that we're used to. We're used to checking the front of the bottle, SPF 30, UVA B, UVA, broad spectrum, water resistant, but we're not used to checking the back of the bottles. The FDA says sunscreen usually expires three years after it's manufactured, sometimes even less because it can physically change and chemicals can break down, potentially making it less effective. Sunscreen that's kept in a hot car or in a glove compartment will degrade faster than sunscreen that's kept in a cool, dry place. So if you're at the pool or you're on the beach, you want to keep your sunscreen in the cooler or in the shade. To find out if any pool goers were using expired sunscreen, GMA hit the Summit Family Aquatic Center in Summit, New Jersey with Dr. Mark Abdomalik, dermatologist and ABC News contributor. This one is expired. You gotta get a new one, buddy. We have an expired sunscreen here. I'm gonna say early 2022, maybe? No, it's even older than that. Oh, man. This pool goer sunscreen expired nearly three years ago. I actually thought it'd be worse than that. <laughs> but at least one person we talked to is keeping a close eye on that date. I even write the date on it, so I know. Wow, so she wrote the date that you bought it. Five out of the 10 groups we talked to had at least one expired sunscreen. And that expired sunscreen isn't just at the pool. We also hit stores to see what is on the shelves. 24 stores total in Texas, New Jersey, and New York. We found 16 bottles of expired sunscreen, 14 of those bottles from various CVS locations and two at a Walgreens. The oldest we found expired in April 2022. If you go to a store and it's already expired, and that means it's been sitting in a shelf or a warehouse for probably at least three years, if not more. So that sunscreen really isn't providing you with the protection in a guaranteed way that the bottle says. CVS and Walgreens both told us they have procedures in place to check for expired sunscreen. CVS says any unintentional deviations from this policy that are brought to our attention are quickly rectified. And Walgreens tells us after learning of the situation, we instructed all stores to check the expiration dates of all sun care products and to ensure there is no expired sunscreen on our shelves. So to make sure your sunscreen is protecting you, as it says on the label, the FDA says don't use it past the expiration date and don't use it if you bought it more than three years ago. Deborah, Important information. Thank you, Eva. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.